News Today at 8 a.m. Welcome back, or if you're just getting up this morning, good morning to you. It's time for this morning's weekend web. As the weather drops and people huddle inside to keep warm, today a very important safety reminder about carbon monoxide detection and new technology. Already this season, 85 people have died from an odorless, colorless, and invisible killer, carbon monoxide. Here now are the web guys, Art Norman and Charlie Wojciechowski. Good morning. As the home heating season approaches, we know that every house should have one of these. This is a combination smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. But this one does something that no other one does. What is it? Art Norman has a guest. It's got us. lots oh, of technology here. built inside Gigi Lubin with the First Alert Company. This thing will actually tell other detectors in the home that it's going off? That's right. They operate um, via radio frequency. So wow. when one goes off, they all go off. So in other words, if you're on the third floor, second floor of your home, and the one goes off in the basement, you know. That's absolutely right. Actually, this is the one link combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. It'll actually tell you which room the alarm, alarm is sounding from and whether it's a carbon monoxide or smoke incident. So let's say you have one in your basement, one in your kitchen, and one in your master bedroom. Okay. And a fire starts in the basement. All the alarms at the same time will say, warning, fire in basement, evacuate. Warning, fire in basement, evacuate. So if I turn this one on right now, what's going to happen? Well, if you push the test button on that, it's going to, it's going to test both alarms. So both will be going off. You hear the first one. So I have oh. mine first, then yours. Right. Mine's carbon monoxide level was zero ppm. Gigi, with devices like this, so often you hear the alarm, you might not really wake up from that. But the voice really does make a difference, correct? Well, it's nice to have both the voice and the horn, horn signal together. And specifically, this voice tells you what's going on and the parts per million as well. When it's a carbon monoxide incident, the alarm will tell you the level of carbon monoxide that was read in the home. Now, Gigi, how, go ahead. How many of these can I hook up in one house? You can hook up um, up to 12 alarms together. You want to have them about 50 feet apart. And what you want to do is when you're setting them up, you want to say meet at the kitchen table and, and link them up together. Um, and then you want to test them to make sure that they're all talking to each other like, like we did earlier. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you go ahead and install, install them and then you want to test them again to make sure that they're all speaking to each other. Can I buy one later and add it to a network I've already gotten in the house? That's a good question. What you can do is if you have an existing hardwired network in your home, all you have to do is replace one of the existing hardwired alarms with a one link hardwired alarm and then any additional battery operated one link alarms you add can now speak with your existing hardwired network. Good idea. Good idea. Thank you very much for coming by. Your Thanks site once us. again is www. FirstAlert.com. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That's very simple. If you can't remember that, remember NBC5.com. Also, check out our video podcast. For our guest and for our drum, I'm Charlie Wojciechowski. And this thing really does work. <laughs> and we'll see you right here next weekend. All right, thanks. Hey, it could be a Christmas present.